Hello everyone, and welcome to Seymour Library's YouTube channel. In this video, I will be showing you how to download and use the Libby app. Libby is an ebook and audiobook app from Overdrive, and it really streamlines the borrowing process. It allows you to quickly jump between libraries if you have multiple cards, or easily view your holds and loans. So let's get started. I'm going to be showing you using an iPad today, but the process is similar on any model smartphone or tablet. First, you open your App Store and search Libby. In my example, I've had Libby before, so the app is stored in the cloud. Um, you may have to say Git and accept it before it will download. Uh, it's free, so you don't have to worry about paying. Once it's finished downloading, you simply open. It's going to ask you a series of questions. Um, so the first is, do you have a library card? And I do. So I'm going to say yes. I'm going to go ahead and search for a library, but you could also try the Guess My Library. I'm going to go by zip code. And there's the Finger Lakes Library System, so I'm going to choose that. And next, I'm going to enter my account details. So this is where, where you will need your library card. And enter the number that is on the back of your library card. and then enter your PIN. Your PIN is usually the last four digits of your telephone number, but you may have changed that PIN. If you're not sure, please contact the library. So here is Libby. Now I've done other examples of uh, using OverDrive, so any of my checkouts are already here. I can now either stay with the library, which is where I currently am, and this is where you can browse for a new item. And you can see that there's audiobooks and ebooks here. Um, I could explore more and uh, go to popular features, uh, guide for kids, teens, mystery and thriller business, view what's popular, um, what's available now. So these are books that I could check out immediately or any subjects. I'm not actually going to do that because I already have some books available. So I'm going to go over to shelf and you'll see it's right at the bottom. And it's very easy to hop between the library where you're searching for books or your shelf, which is what you already have out. So you can see what I already have checked out right here. And I could choose to play one of these audiobook titles or read the ebook. So if I tap on the ebook, I'm going to go ahead and view it on Libby. And here's the book. Now in this example, I'm using my iPad on the um, horizontal or landscape view, uh, but you can of course tilt it um, to the vertical view so that it, the page fills the whole screen. I'm simply not doing that for ease of viewing the video. But essentially, that's how you can read your ebook. So, some of the features that I'll point out if you tap in the center of your screen or uh, off to where there's not words, don't hit where you need to change a page, but more in the center. It will bring up your menu. You can see where you are in the book. Um, up here, you can also bookmark your page, and that will save your spot. You can do a search here for any words within the book. 
you can change your page view. So you'll see like right now it's zoomed in to the word. So I'm only reading one page. And you can also access the menu here, which does the search. It goes um, your index, the chapters, um, any of your bookmarks, you can hop to quickly. Your reading settings, and then it has tips and secrets. You'll notice also that it has the quick return option. So return to the library or view details. I'm not going to return it to the library yet because I'm still showing how to use it. Um, you can also either go back or you'll notice that you can go to the library or back to your shelf. So if I hit shelf, it's going to take me to my other loans. If I want to listen to an audiobook, I just have to tap the title and then play. Within the audiobooks, you can change the speed up at the top so that it'll read faster. You can set a sleep timer. You can bookmark your spot in the audiobook. And again, there's the menu that has the index for the chapters, any of your bookmarks, and then a quick link to tips and secrets, and also the quick return option. You'll see at the very top of the Libby app, your shelf is divided into your loans, your holds, and different tags. This is if you have tagged a book, you do not have to use that feature. Uh, mostly you'll probably be using the loans and the holds. So if you have books on hold, you can check here and see your spot on the list. And maybe I'll put one on hold just so that you can see what that looks like. Loans will show you what you have out. That's really beneficial if you have multiple cards, you will actually see any of your holds from any of your libraries and any of your loans from any of your libraries. If you go to the, the little Libby, which right now displays four messages, you can view any notifications that you have from the app, but it also shows you what libraries you have and um, where to add your other cards. You can add a library. I'm going to hop back to the main Finger Lakes library page. I'm going to look under popular books to see if I can find one that is checked out. So let's go with The Giver of Stars. You'll see how the book is displayed here. It gives all the information. Wait time about 18 weeks. It's also available as an audiobook. And these are other popular titles. I'm going to place the book on hold, which you'll see right under the cover of the book. And then place the hold. I can check this on any time at any time to see um, where I am in line, when it's going to be ready, how many people are waiting and how many copies. Those are all estimates because people can read quicker and return the book early. Um, so even though it has a long waiting line, it is possible that you'll get the book sooner than that. I'm going to hop back out just so that I could show um, what an available book looks like and how to borrow there. Again, you can view on the left hand side with how this display is. Um, you can see that the format is an audiobook. You can see how long the audiobook is, which edition it is, and then all of the other details, including series and author. On the right hand side, you'll see the ability to borrow. So I'm just going to say borrow. Click borrow again. And now that's checked out to me, I'm going to keep browsing. 
I'll just show quickly further down in any of the descriptions. So there's the main description of the book. Um, this is nicely broken down to show you the series. So this is the Harry Potter series, and these are all the books. And you can hop to any of these and read about that book, put it on hold, whichever you need to do. You can see that this title is also available in the ebook format. And again, these are the other recommended titles for what's available. So it's a very simple um, app. Um, this part looks very similar to how Overdrive will look online, um, but it's a little bit more streamlined when it comes to borrowing. And again, anytime, even though I'm browsing, I can just tap on shelf and it takes me back out to what I have. Um, there's our new audiobook, and I could just click into that and press play, and it will work. So now I'll go back up and show you the holds portion since I now have a book on hold. So I just tap holds, and there's the giver of stars, there's my estimated wait time. Um, I can manage the hold, so if I wanted to suspend this hold or cancel the hold, I can do it from there. And it just gives me the when I placed it. So sometimes if you're waiting, you can see how long have I been waiting for this book, so it's kind of nice. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and manage the hold, and I'm going to cancel it since I don't actually want that book, and I want to make sure that people will get it as soon as they can. Another feature I want to point out is search. I'm going to navigate back to the main page and up at the top you will see search for a book. Tap there and type in the title of a book that you would like to borrow. Um, and I think I am going to search for a favorite book of mine and that will be Howl's Moving Castle by Diana Wynne-Jones. So once you type it in, just complete the search. And you're going to see the book come up. I can now place a hold on the book, or if it were available, I would be able to borrow it. That's it for this section. And we'll move on now to returning items. So I'm just looking um, at my other loans, and I'm gonna go ahead and return everything. So manage the loan, I'm going to return early, return, So now, hopefully, if anybody is interested in those books, you can go and borrow them yourself. That's basically all there is to Libby. It's a super, super easy app. Um, it is much easier to use than the old Overdrive app. Um, if you are still using the Overdrive app and you like it, um, you can keep using it. They have not stopped that app at all. But I would recommend giving Libby a try. It is so easy. Um, the Graphics are really nice on it, and it's just really nice to um, quickly hop between what you want to borrow and what you already have checked out. So thank you for joining me for this video. Uh, please stay tuned to the channel for more videos on tech stuff and other fun things that are happening at the library. Until the next time, bye-bye.